Lavender, what you can do with your left. Yeah, what kind did you get? Gene Davis. Oh, that's great. All right, now what's going to happen with Gene Davis? What's going to happen with lavender? Is it a, guys, y'all like this. This is a little hint on lavender. It'll shoot a spike up that'll have a little blue flower. But what you do with the flowers, you can take the flower and it sticks up. And there's a little flower. You fold the wand over, fold it over the flower, and you make a wand. And then when you go to take a bath, you swish it in the bath, and then you have this beautiful smell. Smell this. This is what it smells like. But it's stronger than this. But guess what? When you can't sleep at night, what your mom and dad might do is they take the flower and they put it in a little tea bag, you know, like you have tea and you're going to drink tea. They put it between the pillowcase and the pillow. And you lay your head on it, and the heat from your face makes the oils come out, and this lavender smell comes, and then you fall asleep easier because you're smelling that lavender. That's a lot of fun. There's a lot of things you can do. Now, this, smell this. This is the strongest. Tell me what it smells like. Have you smelled it yet? Lemon. Lemon. Yeah, we've been smelling lots of them. This is the strongest smelling lemon plant you will ever have. There's no plant that smells stronger like lemon than that plant. You can take the leaves, put them in the bottom of your sugar bowl, put sugar on top of it, so if you're ever having tea and you want to sweeten it up or you got lemonade and water, you can take the sugar out and it's already got the smell of the lemon in it. And then it'll smell like you've got lemon inside. And it's really the oil coming out of this underneath the sugar. What's that called? Lemon verbena. One of the most lemony plants.